I've heard so many people asking me, and uh, Keith, you've said that we stop saving. So, and we should invest. So what should we invest in? Because uh, this is the question amongst many people. Now, I'm going to answer this question and tell you how to invest. And my friends, if you're going to listen to this, your life will never be the same again. Poverty will never be a part of you. And I'm telling you this with all facts put together so that you can be the person you've always wanted to be. Now, first and foremost, um, let's just agree one thing, that uh, the education system that you have today in Africa is not set for you to be wealthy. There is no way you're going to be uh, in the employment system after you've been in school and get out there and get a good job which is going to employ you to be wealthy. That one cannot happen in Africa. Don't you be lied to. Maybe in Europe and other places, they have the systems, but not here in Africa. And uh, why am I saying this? The education system has been the cause of all our problems because people have been taught on how to be employees. Basically, they have been taught on how to be slaves to the master, but they have never been taught how to establish their own businesses or to be wealthy. Do you understand the point? So when we talk about uh, business or we talk about being wealthy or when we talk about investment, it has nothing to do with employment. So forget about that. Even when you come to those who are employed, unless you're a thief where you're, you're working, maybe you're stealing some government money or things like that, or maybe you're in some very uh, executive position after a very long time, period of time, and after uh, bribing your way up, that is the only time you can be wealthy in this world of today. All right? So now, can you save your way uh, to investment? It is not possible. Don't be lied by anyone that you can save and save until you invest. That is not possible as well. Why? Because there is no way an employer will pay you enough to invest and get out from his work because the system is not built that way. This is the reason why they introduced NSSF and all these other things so that you know that you will stay and die there. All right. So forget about employment, you saving until you make some money and become, you know, establish your own job. That is not going to happen. And again, there is no way you can be an investor by uh, through someone else's uh, uh, ideas. For example, you look at someone with a barber shop and you think I'm going to invest in that. That is his own idea. It can never work for you. There is no way you can see somebody has started a laundry and you do that. You want to invest in that. It can never work for you. Why? Because that is his own idea. It can never work for you. Okay. So now what am I trying to say? It does it mean that we can never invest. Where are we going to get the money? Now, let me tell you, investment is never about money but it's about idea, all right? There is nobody who started anything or became who they are because of some money they found somewhere, no. Or maybe some inheritance they got from someone. Even those who are given inheritances and they do not have the idea, their businesses always flop, all right? So now, if investment is not about money, then what is it about? I like to tell you, my friends, that investment is basically about the talent that you have. Look at what you love best. What do you love most? What do you love doing? And invest in your talent. Now, why am I talking about talent? Now, your talent is your God-given gift. It is your God-given light that shines in you. It is the thing that nobody can steal from you. You are the only one who is a master of your own talent. And you love it and you enjoy it best. And talent has to do with passion. What are you passionate about? You see, people who are the best uh, salesmen for cars, they love cars passionately. So them being the best in selling cars does not mean they're just doing their job. No, they love the cars. They are passionate about the cars. Probably they love creating this and that. Maybe they like different shapes of cars and they love this. And, and that's how they are able to enjoy that kind of a thing until it becomes a job. 
Look at uh, yourself. What do you love best? Giving a good example, think about, for example, people like um, even Bonfire Adventures here in Kenya. You know, we have seen them grow. I'm just giving an example. When you look at those people and you hear their story, you hear from Simon and uh, you hear from Sarah, they will say that uh, how they established Bonfire Adventures, it was all about um, a simple thing, passion. They were passionate about enjoying life, you know. They just loved going, chilling with friends and, uh, you know, talking and maybe making merry. And you see, from that, a whole business came from there. Because the friends, they saw the passion that these people had and they started telling them, okay, can you organize one for us? Can you organize we go to this place and we go to that place? And that's how now it's a billion whatever company. Do you see how talent is the source of your investment? What you love best, what you love doing is not about money. Because if it was about money, how many people are given money to invest and it never works out? How many people, uh, you know, copy this one and copy that one and it never works out? How many people have been in school, they have uh, studied in school and they have tried all their best to accumulate money after school to save and invest in something and that doesn't work out? So what you need to do, my friend, find your talent. Find that God-given gift which is inside you. If you're an artist, start drawing. If you're this and that, start doing that thing which is so unique to you. And remember, creativity is from within. It's not from without. We try to do so much things which are from without, trying to copy others. Competition is not creativity. Creativity comes from inside you and that is the gift, that is the light, that is the power that you have over everybody else. And my friends, when you focus on this and you give it all you can and you focus on it in the best way possible, then my friends, I tell you, people are going to be running left, right and center, trying to connect you, trying to pay you to show them how you do these things so well. And they are going to pay you for that talent. And that is how you invest in an idea. Remember, God gave us these talents for a reason. So that we can build the world with them. Because we are supposed to dominate this world and subdue it and take control of it. But you are busy chasing after other people's talents. And that's why you never make it. You understand? So now, what we need to do is ask yourself, what do I know best? And on the other hand, maybe if you're saying, okay, Keith, what about uh, how am I going to survive? It's very simple. Just find something. This is on another side note. Just find something which you enjoy. Like, for example, talk about uh, you love electronics. Something that you enjoy. And find someone selling it and resell it. Go online, find someone selling earphones and ask them, hey, bro, how much are you selling them? 100 bob. Okay, can I sell at 120 and just... Uh, direct the clients to you and I have the 20 bob. By the time you're selling earphones, the next minute you'll be selling phones. The next minute you'll be selling even higher and higher things. You don't need money. All you need is the idea and the passion and the know-how of how to do it. And then you will be the greatest salesman there have ever been. And from that, you can make your own capital and then you can go out there and make as much money as possible. All rich men started that way. So don't be fooled by anyone that investment has anything to do with money, background, or education, or anything else. It has everything to do with talent and passion.